Hi, my name is Jess Meldrum from Keymetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, we're going to explore waterfall charts and dashboards. Waterfall charts are a great way to visualise changes from one scenario to another. The following example will demonstrate how to visualise the movement between budget and forecast for the revenue account. I'm going to drag a waterfall chart into the canvas. From the data settings on the right, I'm going to add my revenue account. This is located under GL Accounts. From here, I'm going to navigate to the Appearance tab. The main properties I'm going to set here are the reference and the comparison value. In our budget versus forecast comparison, we want our initial value to show budget. So in the reference value, I'm going to set the version to budget. By default, the version selected is from the version selector, which we can see up here is from Actuals. Instead, I'm going to change the version to budget. I'm now going to change the comparison version to forecast. Once again, the default is Actuals, but instead I'm going to change it to forecast. I'm just going to expand the chart out a little bit just so we can see it a little bit clearer. And now what we can see is that it shows our budget on the left, our forecast on the right and the differences in between. The next property we need to set is time. By selecting the time property from the right hand side of the screen, we can see that the stratum is set to month. This indicates that the level of detail will be at a month granularity. Instead of a month granularity, I'm going to change this to year. I'm also going to unpin the year, which will mean that this will change to current year so that it will dynamically update each year. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you'd like to know more details or get further assistance, please reach out. Thanks and bye for now.